In this video, you'll learn three methods to insert PHP code into your WordPress site. Let's add a notification bar to our site's header using a simple code. We will use this simple code to do that. First, check your active theme. I'm using the Astra theme, so I'll create a child theme for it. Open your host file manager and navigate to the WordPress installation directory. Go to the WP content and themes folder. Create a new folder for your child theme. Name it whatever you'd like. Avoid spaces. You can use hyphens or underscores. Inside this folder, create two files, functions.php and style.css. Copy this code into the functions.php file and save it. Copy this code into the style.css file and save it. In template, you should put the parent theme folder name. In our case, it is Astra. Our child theme is ready. Return to your WordPress dashboard and refresh the themes page. Our theme has been added, but the name is wrong. Let's change it. In the style.css file, change the theme name to whatever you like. Activate the new theme. If I refresh the site, you can see that nothing has changed and our child theme is working as expected. Now that our child theme is active, let's insert the code. Go to the theme file editor, click on theme functions. Remove the PHP closing tag and paste your code. Update the file and check the site. Refresh your site and you'll see the notification bar appear. This method is the easiest way to insert code into WordPress, especially if you don't have a child theme or if you're not comfortable editing PHP files. Install and activate the Code Snippets plugin. After activating the plugin, navigate to the Snippets menu and click Add New. Copy the custom code and paste it into the code section. Give your snippet an appropriate title so you can easily find and manage it later. Save and activate your snippet. You should now see the notification in your site header, indicating that the code works correctly. If you're comfortable with PHP, try this method. Your custom code will remain intact even if you change your theme, and you can manage your snippets in separate files. I'll put the link to this post in the video description.
Go to the WordPress Plugins folder located in the WP Content directory. Create a new folder and name it appropriately. Remember, its name should not include spaces. Inside that folder, create a PHP file with the same name as the folder. Copy and paste the provided code into this PHP file. You can change the plugin name as desired. As you can see, we have included a PHP file here. Let's create this file. Create an includes folder within your plugin folder. You can store individual code snippets as separate PHP files in this folder. Create a PHP file for the header notification. Copy the header notification code into the new file. Ensure you include the opening PHP tag at the very start. Next, go to the plugin section in your dashboard and activate your custom plugin. You should now see the header notification on your site. Let's create another notification for the footer. Create another PHP file inside the includes folder. Copy the header notification code into this new file and modify it to display the notification in the footer. Finally, include this new file in your main plugin file. I just copied this line and changed the file name to our newly created file. You can see our footer notification is showing correctly. This method is ideal if you are already using a child theme and do not plan to change your theme. Remember, if you switch themes, you might lose all your custom code. This method is great for beginners. I use it in my tutorials because it is easy to follow. The downside is that using many snippets can impact your site's performance since these plugins store code in the database. If you are comfortable with PHP, this method is perfect. Your code remains intact even when you change themes. By placing each snippet in a separate file, it becomes easier to manage, backup, and reuse on other sites. That's all for this tutorial. Lastly, I'd like to thank all of our supporters on this channel and the WP Cookie Plus members. If you'd like to support me and gain access to all of my code, please consider joining WP Cookie Plus. Take care and God bless.